Well, what is up everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today, I'm going to be filming another top five video series. Now, this will be the start of quite a few top five uh, fishing instructionals that I have for you guys. And today we're going to start with top five summer baits. Now, these are mostly focused around, you know, fishing in large lakes or large ponds, but I will be coming out with future videos that detail more about how to catch fish in the summer from your small ponds that you guys fish from the shore. Let's get started. So when it gets hot, we as humans like to congregate in the shade, in the AC inside, and usually sit around and play video games, not do a whole lot. Bass aren't very different than we are. They want to go deep, uh, they want to chill out, eat some french fries on the couch, and just chill out around the shad schools way out deep. And so anytime you're fishing in the summer, you're most likely going to be out deep. So that means rock piles, brush piles, uh, deep docks, and anything you have in your ponds, like deep grass lines, things of that nature, that the bass can get out of the hot sun and just chill down there on the bottom. And so these are five different lure categories that you guys can utilize to catch those deep summer bass. Now before I get into the deep stuff, we all know that summertime can be one of the best times of the year to catch some giant fish on top waters. And that is because the big fish move up shallow for just a small portion of the morning to feed before they go out back deep to chill out and feed there. So kind of the, the top water lures that I like to throw in the summer are large top water lures. So we have the you know whopper flopper, 130 size. And this is actually, I believe it's called the Head and Super Spook, the, the, the full size. I've seen it also called the Badonkadonk uh, at Bass Pro Shop. So those are two fairly large topwaters that I like to throw. And then one of my new topwaters that I like to throw as well, that imitates both bluegill and shad up, sh up shallow, is the VNM Buzz Shad. This is a buzz bait and a swim bait mixed together, and we'll talk about swim baits here in a second. So the reason why I like the whopper plopper especially is because in case those bigger fish, those bigger females, are still chilling out deep but they still want to feed up shallow, this tail right here brings them up from deep water. I have fished grass lines in 10 to 12 feet of water with this thing and you would think, Tyler, why are you throwing a top water there? There's no grass for 10 feet. This thing has been able to call fish up from a very, uh, very far distance out deep and get them to eat on top water. So that's why I like to throw oversized top waters because it gets those fish, draws them out from the deep and gets them to come up and eat. So now that we've talked about top waters, we can go back out to deep where those fish are chilling out. So the first thing that I love to throw to probe around the bottom, see what it's like, is a deep crankbait. Now I have more deep crankbaits than this, but these are some of my favorites right here. I'm going to show a close-up of these in a second, but I have crankbaits that go almost as deep as 30 feet, such as the Strike King 10XD. And then I categorize deep by about you know 10 to 12 feet, and so the Storm Arashi is also a very good deep crankbait for that you know early morning bite. And so there's a whole myriad of choices of deep crankbaits you can throw, but most often if you're throwing a deep crankbait, you're going to resemble some sort of shad. We'll get into the shad part of swimbaits in a second, but you really want to cast super far with a wide spool and a long crankbait rod and be winching it back in like this. So when you're winching like that, it creates a reaction strike, and it's often what the summer fish need. And so once you get one fish in the school to bite, oftentimes it fires up the whole school and you can cast, cast after cast and catch big fish out deep in the summer. So deep crankbaits are a very good way to catch deep summer bass. Now let's move on to the deep slow baits like football jigs and deep worms. So the next lure that I want to talk about is football jigs. These jigs are usually half ounce to I've seen them up to one and a half ounce and they are a jig that literally the head looks like the shape of a football, that's what they call it, the football head. And the reason you use this type of jig is because it's heavy, first of all, it has a stout hook, and it can keep contact with the bottom and let you know what's down there. So if you're gonna cast a, make a super long cast over a rock pile or a brush pile, a football jig is the best jig for dragging through that rock pile, getting it over the rocks, and really creating a commotion. VNM makes a cliff pace uh, uh, football jig and it has these cool ridges on it that dig into the ground and kick up dust just like a crawfish or a deep living bluegill would. And so football jigs are very, very good uh, ways to catch deep summer bass. Now, you may ask about colors. So if you guys have super, super clear water, you're probably only going to stick to you know, a more of a, a, of a bluegill color or a green pumpkin with some orange in it for crawfish. But if you guys are in super dirty water, you're going to want to throw a black and blue or a chartreuse uh, to get those fish's attention or create a silhouette that they can eat. And so to make sure this football jig gets a, uh, a big profile, I like to stick a giant craw uh, trailer on there. And so these here are the VNM Cliffs Wild Craw, brand new from VNM Baits. They have these awesome big, big legs on them and they have uh, just a great action to add to a football jig. And so make sure you add a big trailer to your big football jig to catch big bass. Let's move on to big worms. I'm using the word big a lot lately. Bigly. 
these words are these 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 worms are bigly. So I'd say behind deep crankbaits, probably my the, the most fun I have fishing for big fish in the summer at deep is big worms. And this is my all-time favorite big worm right here. It is the Excite Baits. I believe it's the Magnum Shaky Worm. I think it's 11 and a half or 12 inches long, and it is just a perfect straight tail soft worm. Then you also have the VNM. Uh, I think it's a straight tail worm. No, yeah, straight wild worm, and then. Zoom Mag Old Monster. So those are three worms that you can really cast out there super far. Uh, they're dense plastics, they're heavy, and they get down to the bottom. And to be completely honest, I have no clue what this imitates. I don't think there are any big purple worms in your local lakes, but those fish are hungry, and they are looking for an opportunistic meal, and this thing is presenting itself as probably a meal for every few days you only have to eat one of these and so I think the fish are just stupid enough that they're going to eat something like that and so kind of the ways that I like to throw that is on a wobble head a Carolina rig or a deep shaky or heavy shaky head to get it down there and make contact with the bottom and really with those big worms you want to work them as slow as you can it's just a slow drag a slow shake or a slow crawl with the, uh, with the wobble head and so those are the top four that I love to use in the summer let's move on to the last one so the last lure category that I like to use when targeting big summer bass is swim baits. These here are the uh, Yum Money Minnows. They're just a standard 5-inch hollow belly swim bait. You can either put a J-head uh, jig head hook on there or a, I believe, owner makes like an ADOT beast hook and it's just a wide gap with a screw lock. And so these are very awesome baits to imitate exactly what kind of shad you guys have in your lakes. So the reason I love using swim baits is because they imitate shad. So I'd say at least 90 to 95 percent of the lakes and ponds you guys fish have some sort of shad or bait fish present that those bass feed up on in the summertime. And so I don't know what your lake has. It could have giant gizzard shad, like this this bait here that we'll talk about in a second. It could have uh, you know tiny thread fin, like this Kitek imitate, or it could have somewhere in between, like the five inch money minnow. And so you guys really want to target uh, the type of shad you guys throw or the type of swim bait you guys throw to the type of shad. Uh, or bait fish you have in your lake. And so I'm going to talk about gizzard shad here for a second. I have two swim baits that you look at, and if you guys have seen my, my uh, $100 swim bait challenge, that's with this Piz Customs. Um, you think, Tyler, you can't catch a fish on a bait this big. You guys would be surprised. In this lake that I'm at right now, I have seen gizzard shad up to 10, 12, I've caught them up to two and a half pounds. And bass will eat those things. Now, of course, it has to be a five to 15 pound bass, which a lot of you guys don't have in your ponds, but many of you do. And oftentimes I get direct messages on Instagram, Tyler, my pond is so pressured. How do I catch these big bass that I see swimming around? One, you either go super small to a drop shot or a small worm, or two, you throw the big swim baits that no one else has the guts to throw. And the reason these work so well is because they are realistic. That the swimming action they have when you, when you jerk them in the water, it just does a, a cool jerking action just like a dying or a swimming gizzard shad. And so you guys are gonna catch the biggest bass in the summer on either the deep crankbaits, the deep worms, or these big swim baits. So if you guys have any questions about how to fish these lures, I know I didn't go into rods and reels a whole lot. So I will link some rods and reels down below from Tackle Warehouse uh, that I suggest you guys buy to use these deep products. But if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and we'll see you guys next time on the next top five.